Hello, the game has started and it's me to go first. I have a Val heavy rack and I'm thinking of exchanging the three E's. Okay, uh, not the best of pickups. I've duplicated the eyes and I've picked up an F. So, not a bingo rack, this one. I don't think finited is a word. And the U, not overly helpful. I do have the un and the uni prefix. No, not seeing a bingo. Maybe just fill for seven. That's a little bit better. In editor. Feeler. Let's see what opponent does. Does in editor have an anagram? I have the anti prefix. Okay, opponents played try. Does the T help? Mm, try, I think, takes an S. The R, rain, not quite rain date. In editor. Actually, I didn't look at the V. There might have been something from the V. Uh, draw a pretty good rack. Um, have the, A, the Z and the C for score. Close is good. C-L-O-Z-E. Um... Not seeing a seven. Opponent almost certainly going to play through the eye. So I'm not focusing too much. Yep, he scores massively there. 48 points. So what about an I-Z-E ending word? That would score quite well. Coalize would have been nice if I had an A. Mm. Not seeing anything with the IZE ending. Might go with close here. Forty two. Um, not a bad pickup, a little bit val heavy, but I can work with this. Reloaned. That'll work. Hopefully opponent is attracted to the Z in the top left. In which case I'll have reloaned here. Now the T also looks useful. Let's have a look at the T. Not seeing a bingo with the T. Ah, reloaned still remains available for 68. So I draw 
two G's and a W, not great. Um, just looking at ways of getting rid of almost have wiggiest, I think might be good if I had another I instead of the second E. Now, what about Q here? That's 31. Tag is good. T E double G. That would sort the rack out somewhat. I'd love to get rid of both G's and the W, but not seeing a way of doing that. Egged would be an option. 27, not a terrible rack leave. A little bit of synergy happening with these three guys. Wedges wouldn't quite... Oh, it would reach. Wedges would reach the triple. That's a better score, but a poor uh, rack leave. What about a five-letter play ending in a W? Opponent's bingoed and gives me wage. Um... What about Wheats? 47. Terrible rack leave, but good score. 36. A lower score, but a much better rack leave. This is a dangerous spot to leave open. A H or an F or a W could play here t for a 50-point play. But this sorts the rack out perfectly, so I'm going with it. Legates, gelates, neither play currently. What about this I? Elegious, elegiast, elegy, no. Um, eaglets. What about a bingo beginning? Opponents played Jiao for 48 points. Wow. Uh, what about this E here? No. Be mixed is good with a T. So T equals. Um, I draw F, M and W. So some scoring potential there. I uh, don't see a five-letter play, or do I? 44 points on offer. Maybe there's a, a W play as well that fits there. Or a five-letter play beginning with an F. Um not seeing one with a W either. Ah, uh, Fomite. 53. Very volatile. But that's a hard score to uh, turn down. Now there's a big potential score here from the Z across. Placing an I underneath the Q. What would that look like? Zaire, no. I-E is no good. Zine, Z-E-I-N. That would score handsomely. I don't have the N. I have Meow on the rack. Opponent taking some time with this move. F 
foam might or motif forty four versus fifty three oh, nine points fewer for a safer play. Okay, opponents recognized the danger and has taken it out. Now motif still does play in the the right hand column column O and Fomite doesn't work anymore. So I'll go with motif forty two. Terrible pickup, absolutely awful. Um, swamped in vowels, and I'll struggle to sort this rack out and score. Now, owie is good, O W I E. Zowie is good as well, but that doesn't work. E U O I. Oh, interesting. Opponent set himself up there, possibly with the blank front hooks. Um, what about weary? It's one way to sort the. Uh, but look at the K hotspot that provides. to do I feel the spot needs to be taken out and I'll do that with OU for 8 that's a little bit better I can work with this rack weave Opponents played Roop, taken out the Z hotspot. I would have had Zine, so that's a shame that that was blocked. Finally got my um, planned play. Now I've got I see ending words. Nothing working there. What about plays with an OD pattern? Nope. <sighs> Haven't spotted any any good options so far. 25 for Y creates a hotspot for opponent. Well, not a hotspot, but a, a bingo lane. Making it easy for opponent to bingo is not high on my list of... on my to-do list. Um, I might just go with something like a N E, especially with three N's to come. I don't want to keep that N on my rack. Twenty points, not a great score, but I just don't want to open up the board. Now I have Wive here, which would kind of close down this lane. This is quite a useful bingo lane. Oh, that swage, yeah, the front hook. So opponent is now just 20 points behind and some scoring tiles still to come. So I can't take advantage of, well, I can on A D 
W N for 30. I'm going with this. Um, just looking at this, this spot here, 13 J across. Weave, you can't spell weave, double E. Do a vena, which would, um, oh, 24. That's six fewer points, but it does limit what opponent can do with these floaters. 24. I do like this. Opponent's got a good K spot there, so nah, I think I'll take it out. On for 30. I draw the K, so I do have a KI play in the bottom right for 29. And doggy, okay. Shouter, no way. Now, opponents cannot bingo, and he's about 30 behind, so I should be fine. I could just play Kip. I don't think the P really helps this rack of opponents. Pre-bind, but not... Pr yeah, I think I'll go with this one. And then what do I do with Veen on the next rack? Ah, uh, never onto the R. Or even. Double E, V, N is also good. Bandia. Okay. So final score 440 to me, 400 to opponent. Thank my opponent for the game. Let's see what we missed. Back to the beginning. And Ada was a 10 point play with a pretty average rack leave. I thought I'll go with a change and hopefully uh, play a bingo on my next turn. Opponent went with love for 12 and kept the X back. Now, finitude. Wow, that's not one you see every day. Fi finitude. F finitude. Oh, I wonder how you... Um, I think that's got to do with from the root finite, maybe. I don't know. But that was a miss. Finitude, 63. I went with Phil. A uh, try for 15. But look at that Zeist for 37 opponent had. So we both missed one there. And in editor was one of the playable bingos. Vanityed was the other one leaving the D there. But in editor scored more. And then Myrex for 66, keeping the blank. Wow, that would be a power play. Um, B Mix for 74, using the blank. And B Mix for 48, retaining. So that's fine. Close for 42 was best here. Squirish. 126 point power play. What a lovely rack that was. And look at all the bingos on offer. Quirkish, Queerish, Charky. Wow, there were a few. But Squirish, the standout play. Very nice. I went with Quirt, and then I've got Reloaned and Loadened. There was a bingo through the D, 
Lodend, the better one, obviously. Scores more and safer. Um, now opponent's got a good rack here as well. Shire Dam. That's a word, quite an obscure one as well. Hindcast, not an everyday either. Sandwich, that's uh, an everyday word. That would have been 82. Dicasia. Wow, look at these lovely words. Diphasic. A phase with two parts, perhaps. Um, Chiliads. Nice. There were quite a few there. In chaste was the one that opponent went with. Now wage was summing best, even though wheats was... 11 more points, but GG, not a great rack leave. So happy with Wage. Then opponent's got 48 with Jow. And then I've got Teagles for 83, Telegas as well. And now opponent does not have a bingo, but he's got a 47-point play on offer. Hoist at N10. Down from ah, the hot spot that I had identified. He went with hit. And now I've got motif and metif, both good for 42. Uh, Sartors, uh, the only playable bingo in two different spots, opponent had. He goes with rays, which gives me. Well, I was just concerned here with one blank unseen and, yeah, possible bingos at the top of the board. Owie. That was the one I had originally identified. 1F. Ah, oh, Owie. 1F, O W. I E E rays, of course. And I had spotted owie on my rack, but I the everyday word e rays just um funny how sometimes they just Yeah, they they just evaporate from your mind when you go through the options. Um O U and Torpors that's a nice bingo. I don't think I've seen that one, or not for a long time. Torpors, very nice. Operators through EA. That's quite a nice uh, bingo. Operators, tricky to spot. So a few misses by both myself and my opponent this game. A wave for 22. Two, I went with Ain. Now a beautiful rack here and a gazillion bingos on offer. Shouter comes down and now I've got Vort for 30. But I went with Orn because I had spotted the K hotspot. So a play of um, KY or Knap, K N A P, or yeah, could have been quite damaging. So took that one out with Orn, and then opponents got A Abai for thirty. That might have put the cat amongst the pigeons somewhat. Um, he went with Doggy for twenty-two. But I did have the K at the stage and the V. Now Kiev for 34 looks good. Actually, I do like that because it gets rid of the K and the V. But I got rid of the K and the P so and scored well with Kip. Yeah, I wonder. Because if I play Kiev, then opponent can't go out. Yeah, Kiev better. And uh, then opponent goes out with Bandia. So that was the end of the game.
a few misses there. Hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.